How's it going everyone? It's Tone Dub. I hope you all doing well. And you know, the weather's getting warm. I just want to show you my garden. And right here, I got about two dozen of blackberry plants I recently put down and they're growing. Some got flowers on them. I put a fence so they can climb onto it. And also got uh, liners on the bottom because these plants are very evasive and I gotta make sure I get them under control. These are the uh, thornless blackberries. So anyway, I just want to show you my garden. You know, one thing about having a garden is, you know, it's an upkeep. Make sure you get all the weeds and everything. In this area, I got watermelons, uh, honeydews, and Japanese pumpkin. And before, I got a lot of weeds growing. So today, I want to show you my favorite hole. How'd that get in there? Mm, very nice. Oh, anyway, not this hole. This is a hole I'm talking about. This is called the uh, hula hole. And you got a flat band right there and sharpen on both sides so you can push forwards and backwards and they'll cut the roots off the weeds and basically just go into the dirt and lift up the dirt and remove all the weeds and make the job a whole lot easier let me show you how it works you can actually do it one hand and all you do is just you know go back and forth and just uh, totally de-root the uh, weeds uh, it is best to do this on a hot sunny day so once you remove the weeds and, and uh, their roots are no longer attached to the ground and they can't draw moisture from it and the hot sun will kill them eventually. Here I'm walking around with my camera in one hand and using one hand to remove the weeds. So this tool is pretty easy to operate. I know you don't see a lot of weeds growing here because I uh, removed them like a week ago. Um, the, I mean the whole area is all filled with weeds. I mean like thick weeds you know they're everywhere and I removed them and I put some of these uh, grass clippings up over them and to prevent them from coming back and seem to help a lot and once you remove the weeds it take them longer to come back Let me show you. This is the weeds I'm talking about. I mean, they, they grow pretty fast and uh, they overtake the space in here and, you know, fighting for the area with my watermelon plants. All I do is just go back and forth with the hole and just remove them. Now these are going to sit out here with the roots exposed and the sun going to get them. And that's pretty much it. If they come back again, like, you know, then I just come back and remove them. It's real simple. Here are some more weeds that I left here just to show you. I mean, this whole area is filled with these kind of weeds and they just suffocate my plants. And here's some over here. Once I unroot all the weeds and I let them sit out in the sun to die, and I come back with some uh, grass clipping, then I cover the area to prevent them from coming back again. Let me show how it's done. So after I finish cutting the grass and putting it in a waste bin, cook in the hot sun, and I let them sit in the bin for about like a week, then the clipping will turn brown and become uh, we use well mulch so I'm not just spring them on top of the uh, the dirt So this is how I recycle my green waste by applying a layer of grass clipping on top of the dirt. This will help the dirt retain its moisture and in return the plants will thrive from it. Alright, let's move along. Here I had tomato plants in my planter and also there's like sweet potato in there as well. And I got some uh, onions, potatoes and more uh, watermelon plants everywhere. 
and here's my cilantro so you know i need those ingredients to make my salsa my jalapenos uh, they haven't stopped growing yet oh by the way and i do have some japanese cucumber growing like 100 feet away i do not want them to cross uh, pollinate with the um, honeydew otherwise my honeydews will taste like cucumber i definitely don't want that well here is me again me and my new hoe this new tool I got, it does make the job a lot easier. Well, I hope you enjoy watching uh, me uh, removing weeds. So if you enjoy this video, go and click the like. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'll keep you an update on how my garden is doing. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.